All right, so this video is going to be part one of our practice with finding equations for planes, okay? So first, we want to find all three equations for the plane that contains the points 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 0, 1, 1, okay? So the first thing that we need to do, well, what do we need for a plane, okay? We need, we need a point on the plane, okay? We have three, and, and we need, well, we need a vector that's normal to the plane, Okay, so first to do that, we need to find two vectors that are on the plane, okay? And then we can take the cross product of them, okay? Because we're not given a normal vector here. We're given three points, okay? So that's what we're gonna have to do. We need to find two vectors that are on this plane. How we do that? Well, we can find a vector that is from one, one, zero to zero, one, one, okay? By just subtracting them. We have a one, one, zero minus zero, one, one, Okay. Why I'm writing these as vectors now is because I'm describing them as position vectors. So I have a vector that is just pointing to this point. Okay. And that's going to be these vectors here. And it just makes it easier to, to kind of show your work with. You have a 1 minus 0, that's 1. 1 minus 1, that's 0. And a 0 minus 1, that's negative 1. So here's one vector that we know is on this plane. All right, let's find another one. Let's say it doesn't really matter what we do now. Let's find another vector on the plane. 2, negative 1, 0 minus, let's go, 0, comma, 1, comma, 1. That's going to equal, we have a 2 minus 0 is 2. We have a negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And we have a 0 minus 1 that is negative 1. So now we have two vectors that are on the plane. Okay, and if we do something like 1, 0, negative 1, cross 2, negative 2, negative 1, okay, we find the cross product, we're going to get a vector that is orthogonal to the plane. Okay, so we're getting a normal vector. So that's the whole idea of what we're about to do here. We have a 1, 0, negative 1. We're going to cross that with 2, negative 2, negative 1. How do we do that? We set up our 3 by 3 matrix. We have i hat, j hat, k hat on the top. We have a 1, 0, negative 1, and a 2, negative 2, negative 1. All right? So first we need to find i hat. We find out what our i hat is going to be. It's going to be 0 times negative 1 is 0, minus a negative 2 times negative 1 is going to be 2. So we'll get a minus 2 here. Next we'll get a minus j hat. That'll be times a 1 times negative 1 is going to be negative 1. And then we'll have minus a 2 times negative 1, which is going to be negative 2, so this will become a plus 2. Then we'll have plus k hat times 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Then we're going to have minus a 2 times 0, which is just going to be 0. So we get this is equal to negative 2 i hat minus we have a negative 1 plus 2 that gives us just a, a 1, so we have minus j hat. And then we have plus a negative 2k hat. So actually that'll be minus 2k hat. All right. So that is the vector. Okay, that's equal to the vector negative 2, comma, negative 1, comma, negative 2. Okay. Right there, that is a vector that is orthogonal to the plane. That's going to be our normal vector here. Okay. So that's going to be, so we have n is equal to, 2, negative 1, comma, negative 2. Actually, sorry, it's negative 2, negative 1, negative 2. Now, we have that every component is negative here, okay? The, the ne we have a negative 2, negative 1, and negative 2. Well, that's, you know, why, why deal with that? We can just say that this is the normal vector is 2, 1, 2. Why can we do that? Well, well because it, it say that our plane is the board, okay? Negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, let's say that points right into the board, okay? So it's orthogonal to the plane. Well, 2, 1, 2 is going to point in the exact opposite direction as this vector here. So if it's pointing in the exact opposite direction, it'll point out of the board. And that is also orthogonal to the board. So this is an example of, of just, you know, kind of manipulating this normal vector just to be a little more convenient, okay? Uh, you'll also see another example that we'll do in another video where we have something like a, uh, a negative 6, negative 3, or negative 6, or something like that, and we're able to just simplify that down because 
it doesn't matter what kind of scalar we multiply through, we still are going to end up with the same vector, okay? The same vector, whether it points out of the board or into the board, it's still going to be orthogonal to the board, okay? So that's how you can kind of think of it. Now, on to actually finding our equations here, okay? We know our first equation, our vector equation, is the normal vector dot, we have r minus r naught in here, and that's equal to zero. Okay, we, we know that if we dot these two vectors, remember the picture from the last video, we dot these two vectors, we get zero because they're orthogonal. Okay, r minus r naught is on the plane, and the normal vector is, of course, orthogonal to the plane. So they're at 90 degrees, their dot product is zero. Let's plug in our normal vector. Our normal vector is 2, 1, 2. And we're going to dot that with r, well, we're just going to leave that as r here. And that's going to be minus, okay, that's going to be minus our, let's just put in a point here, let's say, let's say 0, 1, 1. Okay, that's a point on the plane. And that's going to equal 0. Okay, right there, that's your vector equation. Now next, you can find your scalar equation by just taking the dot product, okay, or finding the dot product of these two things. Okay, so... We know that R is X, Y, Z. Okay, so we can write this as 2, 1, 2 dot X, Y, Z minus 0, 1, 1. Okay, that's, we'll, that's what we'll write it as for now. Now, we can just do a little bit of subtraction here to get that we have 2, 1, 2 dotted with a X comma, we have a y minus 1, comma, we have a z minus 1. And when we dot these two things, we get 2x, we get a plus y minus 1, okay? We have then plus 2 times z minus 1, and that is all going to equal 0. Okay, right there, now you have a scalar equation. Okay, that's a scalar equation. Now lastly, I can find the linear equation by just kind of distributing through here. And I don't have too much to distribute. Okay, usually, you know, I might have like an x minus 4, uh, like a 2 times y minus 5, or, you know, something like, like where I have to do a lot more distributing. But here, the only distributing I need to do is this 2 through the z minus 1. So doing that step, I get... 2x plus a y minus 1 plus a 2z minus 2. And that's going to be equal to 0. So now, every term that doesn't have an x, a y, and a z in it, I'm going to combine it. Okay, so I get, I get 2x plus y plus 2z. Then you're going to get a minus 1 minus 2. It gives you negative 3 equals 0. And right there... That is our linear equation. You may also see your linear equation wrote as <clears throat> 2x plus y plus 2z equals 3. Okay, you can put that constant term on the other side if you wish. And, um, you know, just as a fair warning, maybe, maybe, I don't know for sure, but maybe some professors are, are very strict about that or, or teachers or whatever you want to call that person. Um, they might want this constant to be on this side and they might take points off if it's not. Uh, and like different textbooks are gonna say different things on whether the D needs to be on this side or this side. Okay, so uh, you know, I would definitely ask your professor if it's going to be an issue if you think that person is picky. Um, but anyways, yeah, there you go. You have a linear equation, you have a scalar equation, and you have a vector equation, okay? And you kind of see the progression through. First, we found just the regular vector equation by having that point and the normal vector. We took the dot product to, or we, we found the dot product that was our scalar equation. Okay, because when the, we take the, when we find the dot product, our dot product is a scalar. So that's how we got the scalar equation. Then we distributed through and we just combined like terms to get our linear equation. Okay, we kind of just cleaned it up a little bit. Okay, so uh, that's basically how you find all the equations for a plane. That's going to do it for this video. 
So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors and the geometry of space, the explanation video for equations of planes, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you, consider supporting me on my Patreon, which I have linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.